Hi guys, uh, I'm Simon Ovio and today we speak uh, of uh, floating bearing arrangement. In floating bearing arrangements, the shaft is close located, but is able to move actually a certain distance S between the two end position. When determining the required float distance S, consider thermal expansions of a shaft relative to the hosing and tolerances of the components, which affect the distance between the two bearings. With this arrangement, the shaft can also be actually located by other components on the shaft, for example a double, a double helical gear. Difference from the adjusting bearing arrangement. This does not give close actual guidance. The floating bearing arrangement is essentially similar on its arrangement to the adjusted bearing arrangement, while freedom from clearance, clearance or even preload is desirable. When warm from operation in the latter case, floating bearing arrangement always have a, an axial clearance S of several tenths of a millimeter depending on the bearing size. Suitable bearing types. A floating bearing arrangement is suitable for bearings that must not be adjusted. For a floating bearing arrangement, almost all bearing types can be considered that must not be adjusted. Tapered wall bearings and angular contact ball bearings are not suitable for a floating bearing arrangement, since these bearings must be adjusted in order to run correctly. Floating arrangements are thus possible with, a, for example, deep groove ball bearing, self-aligned ball bearings, and spherical wall bearings. One ring of each of these two bearings, usually the outer ring, then has a sliding seat. This is important. A sliding ear, sliding ear, and ear is in the internal. In the floating bearing arrangement with a cylindrical roller bearing NJ, length compensation is possible within the bearing ear, this one. So here we are, we have, this is three typical floating baby arrangement, S is the actual displacement distance, axial clearance, this one, this one, this one, this is internal, in one is deep groove ball bearing, and we design, we draw in one side, okay, Spherical roller bearing and cylindrical roller bearing and G. So, I hope this can be helpful. See you next time. Bye.